Elhamdülillah Rabbil Alemin Hu Allah'ı cahilini Müslümin Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided us to Islam and he gave us this deen and he gave us this special day to be together for global peace and unity and I thank Allah I thank Allah that he guided me to Islam and guided my family to Islam and I thank Allah that he let me be a part of this and to be your brother and I really like what Yusuf Islam said a few minutes ago when he said you get two Yusufs for the price of one <laughs> Alhamdulillah please excuse any mistakes in our program we've all been trying our best to put on a good program for you we know you'll continue to make dua for us and I'm not going to give a speech tonight because there's so many more things that I want you to see beside me so I'm going to do something that I like to do best I like to do a commercial for Islam. Go to my new website, Share Islam. Not the singer, not that share, the other share. S-H-A-R-E-I-S-L-A-M dot com. He said I got to use speak. What do you think? Whoa. I'm stuck out here. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah, wa ala alihi wa sabi ajma'in. Here's the best speech anybody can give. It's called Kalama Sayyaba. La ilaha illallah. Muhammad or Rasulullah. That's the best speech, yeah? Fa ina istakal hadithi kitab Allah. The best speech is in the book of Allah. And that's the book that guided me to Islam. Somebody gave me the Quran. I was trying my best to make a Muslim go to Christian. I was trying my best to get a man to become a Christian. And he said an amazing thing to me. He said, I will go to your religion if it's better than my religion. I said, that's easy. In Christianity, you don't have to pray five times a day. You don't have to fast the month of Ramadan. You don't have to pay zakat. You don't have to make hajj. You don't even have to be nice if you don't want to. You should. He said, wait. I will go to your religion if it's better, not easier. And you need proof. I said, proof? Religion is not about proof. Religion is about faith. He said, in Islam, we have both proof and faith. And the more we have of one, the more we get of the other. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. And then, he gave me the Qur'an in the English language and I wouldn't touch it. I wouldn't open it. I was afraid. So I went to another preacher, friend of mine, and I told him about what I was doing to convert a Muslim to be a Christian. And the preacher said to me, stay away from that man. They're very dangerous. The Muslims don't believe in God. They worship a black box in the desert. They are terrorists, hijackers, kidnappers. And they kiss the ground five times a day. Stay away. 
And whatever you do, don't read the book. Don't read that book. What do you think I did? I read the book. But just one page. I said, I'll just read one page, only one page. But before I open it, I'm going to pray. So I prayed and I said, God, protect me. Protect me from any evil now. And I opened the book. What are Muslims supposed to say when they pick up the Quran and read it? A'udhu Billahi min shaitan rajim And I opened it and I read. I read it in English, but you know it in Arabic very well. A'udhu Billahi min shaitan rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Maliki Yawmiddin Iyaka Nabudu wa Iyaka Nasta'in Iddina Sirat Al-Mustaqeen Sirat Al-Ladina An'amta Alayhim غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. The meaning is what I read in English. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. All the praise is only for Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, the only ruler on the day of judgment. You only do we worship, and you only. Do we turn to for help? Guide us. Guide us on the straight path. The path of those that have your favor, but not the path of those that have your anger, or the path of those who are lost. Brothers and sisters, I read those words. And I realized right there, this is what I believe. This is the way the prayer should have been that I've been trying to pray all my life. I really don't want to take any more of your time. I really don't. I just know this. If more people knew this beautiful message, and all they would have to do is just say, God, if you're there, guide me. Those were my words 15 years ago. I put my head on the ground in sajda, like I had seen the Muslim doing. And when I put my head on the ground, I said, God, guide me. And what is it Muslims are supposed to say? Ya Rabb, iddina salat mustaqim. And when I raised my head back, I knew, I knew I had to change. And I knew I had to make a commitment to serve him on his terms. And that's the same commitment we're on here today with this project for the global peace and unity. This is your project. This is your program. This is your deen. This all belongs to you and us. And so let us, let us pray and ask Allah to accept this on the Day of Judgment as something good for Him. Ya Rabb, Ya Latif. And the beautiful prayer that we find in Baqarah, and it says, Rabbana, Atina fi dunya hasanin, wa fi lakirti hasanin, wa kina ada binar. Amin. Amin. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Takbir! Takbir! Takbir!